Good morning, FGCU. I'm Samantha Romero, and this past week has been packed with a lot of news. From President Biden's inauguration to President Martin warning students to keep COVID measures alive. So without further ado, let's get started. You're watching ENTV Now. Hi guys, and welcome back to Hard Hitters. This week, I'm your host, Sarah Mason. Began asymptomatic testing. Several student organizations at FTCU and we're gonna play Guess the Song. Hello. Welcome to Hanging with the Executives here at the Bowers School of Music. And you're watching ENTV. Millions watched from home as Joe Biden and Kamala Harris took their oaths during Wednesday's presidential inauguration ceremony. They called points of action of political extremism and racial topics. Uniting to fight the foes we face, anger, resentment and hatred, extremism, lawlessness, violence, disease, joblessness and hopelessness. We mark the swearing in of the first woman in American history elected to national office, Vice President Kamala Harris. Don't tell me things can't change. FGCU political science professor Peter Bergerson said that change is certainly underway. Today, I've been watching the inauguration, and uh, we've already seen uh, significant changes. Look at the, the poet who uh, gave a wrote her poem, a 22-year-old uh, uh, black woman. Uh, I mean, that was unheard of. Uh, the changes that I have seen today and the build-up to the, the, this inauguration, I would never even dreamed of. With the recent events like the inauguration, it is safe to say that millions of Americans will keep a watchful eye at how the nation will steer in the coming months. At FGCU's campus, you might have seen a crowd of students marching by the South Village lawn. Some student organizations at FGCU marched for freedom, honoring civil rights activist Martin Luther King last Thursday. Campus Life, the MLD, FGCU Housing, and Campus Rec hosted the event to relive the legacy of the Detroit Walk to Freedom. You might find yourself going to Starbucks at a different time than those late night runs. Most places on campus switch their dining hours. BYOB, the Marketplace, and Boar's Head is closed for the spring semester. If you drive at FGCU, get used to seeing a lot of construction around. A portion of the campus loop between parking lot 7 and the recreation field is under construction blocking one right lane. Michelle Alvarez shows us more. The right lane is currently closed due to construction on FGCU's Boulevard South near the music building. We've been running chill water underground piping from the central energy plant all the way to the new water school you guys have built. FGCU is installing the underground utilities for the Integrated Watershed and Coastal Studies Project. So it's particularly important that we redouble our efforts to stick to the guidelines and protocols we've set up. Social distancing, wearing masks, every day fill out your form. President Martin welcomed the new academic year with a video to students. He recapped the fall semester and said that we ended really well. He reminded students, though, to fill out the health screening app and when the time comes to get your vaccine. In the fall semester, we ended with almost 550 COVID-19 cases from student and staff. Now, thank you for watching ENTV Now and stick around for next week's episode. And keep an eye out for hard hitters coming out this week. I'm Samantha Romero reporting for Eagle News TV.